at South by Southwest, the party scene is very difficult for a first time attendee. The reason for that is, uh, there's a couple. One is the official parties are horrendous. People complain about how they liked South by when it was small. They don't really like it when it was small and manageable. What they mean is that the average quality of person in their mind used to be higher. That's what happens in uh, dynamic number two, which is when there's too big of a crowd, it's more difficult to manage, and the quality ends up averaging a little bit lower. So this is the other thing that people pattern replicate, pattern observe, pattern recognize is the fact that it seems like the best parties are secret. Um, and it's very hard to plan uh, your party schedule because the ones that are the ones that are viewable right now, not the best ones to go to. Uh, if you just type in uh, South by Southwest party list or South by Southwest events for entrepreneurs, it's tough because those events aren't uh, clear and transparent. This is what experts do. I've been to South by a number of times. They rely on word of mouth uh, amongst their close peer friends. Uh, people have done South by time and time before. They rely on organizing with a handful of people a uh, an impromptu pop of event. Uh, groups of friends uh, will or a case of wine and uh, corral some location. A lot of times it's even uh, a pop-up party at a lobby of a hotel because Austin Fire Department and the Austin City Ordinance uh, require you to register your party. Uh, another thing that happens is uh, because of the large brands that are coming in, gifting suites is a thing of the past. Um, I think a new trend, a new trend's tough to call right now on, what, 14 days out from South By, but a small trend that, uh, that I think, uh, is smaller events, uh, dinners, um, the, oh, uh, where excursions to Salt Lake, which is the cliche one, but just where you're trying to uh, do a party that's uh, on a, a recreation vehicle or a party that's uh, in that little creek uh, behind the Four Seasons where it transitions into open land, open field. You know that part between the pool and the, uh, the main property at the Four Seasons. Um, there's also a secret patio uh, behind a Starwood Hotel property that's pretty popular. I'm not talking about the Westin. The Westin in Austin, Texas is quite far away. There is also uh, kind of a, 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 it's, it's a converted parking lot. It is a parking lot, but then they, they transition it into a tented area. Um, that's something that, uh, it's an interesting uh, impromptu space that they're convert that someone who's entrepreneurial converts into uh, usable space. And the thing that I've got to stress is the fact that the best events that are curated, uh, they're not being checked in on on Foursquare. There's no Gowala anymore, unfortunately. I love that program. The that site, that app. Uh, there isn't, there isn't the official sites, the official parties. The lines are impossibly long to get in, and then once you get in, it's impossibly long for a drink. Um, and the lobbies, partying in a lobby is just part of it, and whether or not you have a badge, access to lobbies. My list of lobbies that uh, I'll rotate through. I like the Four Seasons a lot. I'm, I'm biased. It's really close to the convention center. It's the closest lar nice large hotel to the convention center. Um, I like the, the Hilton okay, but the Hilton's kind of huge and it's okay. Um, I like the 
W next, maybe I would put three and a close four would be Driscoll. Driscoll is uh, up by six in Colorado. Um, it was different when the Driscoll was open and the Hotel W was not because then it would be Four Seasons Driscoll. And I like the Omni. The Omni is a hotbed of startups and entrepreneurship because it also 24-7 hosts this business incubator called Capital Factory. So if you think about moving to Austin, Omni Hotel is the 16th floor Capital Factory. And I, this is the, the gem. I love the Sheraton downtown. And I know I'm biased because we're promoting Starwood, but the pool's nice, there's a huge deck, the restaurant's like wide and very spacious. Um, and then the best place to spot and see and spot celebs and ink a deal with a seasoned executive is but early. This isn't even a party. This is the opposite of a party. The movers of the shakers, the decision makers, they eat breakfast because, you know, they're in their, I don't know, 30s and 40s.